Well, we've kind of picked up where we left off last season. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Hey guys, RC here back with our Bielsa Journeyman. We're at Club 5, and this is Episode 6. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't gotten around to that yet. And please comment below. Let me know anything you guys are thinking about. I love the interaction with you. So taking a look at where we've been from the beginning of the season of the 3-1 victory, uh, PSG destroyed us 6-0. Uh, it was not even a close game. And it was the biggest loss in club history. We then came back and beat Montpellier 2-1. to one. Uh, Eusebio Martinez, our lone E striker, and Ertzi Uratia, our new striker, uh, scored. Then we beat Wren 3-2. Jacques Nagano with a brace. Martinez back on the score sheet as well. Uh, a couple of friendlies mixed in there. And then a nil-nil draw with Shatteru, uh, who is one of the top teams in the league. Taking a look at the competition, we are currently sixth with a game in hand, 10 points, and we are the only team in the top half of the table with a negative goal differential thanks to that six-goal drubbing at the hands of PSG. Let's jump into transfers, get you guys caught up there. So last episode was August 8th, so we have uh, loaned out Nahuel Alonso. We sold Lukács Kondraki uh, to Genoa for $10 million, up to $12.75 over time. And then we signed Tibor Gall and then loaned him back till the end of the season, which was good. This was a youth signing to kind of get a good player in our youth system and use our training facilities, uh, but we needed to loan him back to get him. We got him relatively cheap, so we did loan him back. And he was one of two players we've signed since last episode. Uh, he comes to us for $750,000 out of the Fehavar system in Hungary. And he looks to be a good attacking left winger, very good crossing. Uh, passing ability is at least decent. His physicals are really solid. Uh, Two-star current. Did it show us what he was? Potential? Oh, there we can see it. Three and a half star. So. You know, I'm still getting the feel of the club, and we're signing these guys that have good-looking ratings but are, you know, three-and-a-half, four-star potential, which is okay. Uh, then we signed Mislav Jimenez from Alaves for $1.8 million. He is a right-winger, came through the Alaves system. Uh, we signed him for that $1.8, and he is on the books now. So we got him at the transfer deadline to fill in it right back. But he can also play that right attacking wing position. Uh, very good crossing. He's a very attacking-minded uh, fullback. Again, only two-and-a-half star potential, but he looks pretty solid. Uh, he did play in a couple of those three friendlies, got two assists out of that, a 7.7 .7 rating. Granted, we were playing some really low-end teams, but... He looks to be a really well-rounded person, and he is an emergency backup, so he's on the squad, and he is there if we need him should John Quinones get injured. So today we're going to be playing Olympic Marseille, who are currently 10th in the table, and then we will be playing Lil, who are 3rd in the table, right ahead of us. So let's get to those highlights right now. All right, we're going to go with Yuxel in goal, Fran, Dopper, Nimic, and Quinones on the back line, Pecoranen and Garcia in the mid, Nagano and Gomez on the wings. Uh, Ibarra is out suspended uh, for yellow card accumulation. We're going to go with Leclerc and Martinez up top. Um, Yuxel uh, was not happy with the signing of Yerudia and... Um, I did some research online. I did a, I did a Google search, and it looks like you have to sign somebody that they know and have a friendship with. So I went in, asked him for a recommendation. He recommended a, a 34-year-old defender. And the problem is, I can't afford him. 
even if I wanted him, I can't afford him. He was actually pretty good, but you know, they want like six and a half million and I've got less than a million in uh, my transfer budget. So he's going to have to suck it up. Uh, plus, and then he had the additional problem. He's unsettled at the team. Can't, can't settle in. He's only been here a month. He needs to like give it a chance. But um, Aguiar was out on international duty with him during those friendlies. So if I have to get rid of him, I'm very happy to give Aguiar the run of games. All right, taking on Olympic Marseille. They are playing a 4-2-3-1 against us. And uh, they dominated possession in this one. Quinonez from the edge of the box hits the woodwork. It gets a poor rebound, and then he gets he runs up into the box and slots home in the second opportunity. Nagano tries to get it in the clip cross in. Fran is sitting there when Leclerc passes it across, and that put us up 2-0 in the 14th minute. Pekaranen into the box, and there's the near post header from our newcomer Dopper, and it's 3-0. Marty off the bench. Remember, he was a 20 goal scorer. He squares it into Yerudi, our new big goal threat, and he puts the icing on the cake with the fourth goal. 16 to 10 on shots, 8 to 2 on target. But you can see they had the bulk of the possession. So that is great. Quinonez, five key headers, not to mention uh, the goal, and six headers won. Very good game. And we'll be right back with the match against Lil. All right. So after our win last match, Lil lost. And we have moved up into second position. We're going to go with Yuskel in goal, Fran, Dopper, Nimic, and Quinonez on the back line. Pekaranen and Garcia in the mid. Nagano, Ibarra, Marty. No, I don't want Marty up there. Why does it keep putting him up there? Uh, I want Yerudia up there. All right, Yerudi and Martinez up top. Um, just a real quick word on Yuskel. Uh, so, yeah, we, we, uh, he was upset we didn't strengthen the attack, so Yerudi doesn't count. Uh, he, evidently, you have to bring in a friend or someone. For, you know, even from that country doesn't always work uh, because the guy he recommended, Yuskel's German, it was a Belgian player that he recommended but we couldn't afford him. So we'll try to bring somebody in in the next window if we can sell somebody. We'll see. All right, let's get to it. We're playing a little. This is a huge match to see if we've come very far in the ability to com compete with the top clubs. Sellout crowd. We've got a big... Look at that. That's more fans in our away game than we've got at our home games. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> that's one heck of a traveling contingency all right we're in the blue lil in the red and again i i think they are the better side nagano just gave up on that he was like screw it i'm not going to run anymore great save by yuskel another block by dopper i think and it's cleared out of play. Seven minutes in, they've had the first two shots of the match. And they are back with another highlight. Little heel kick. Uh, we've got an opportunity here. It's a through ball, but Martinez gets cut off. But Arudia, he's in, and it's a deaf slide pass right past the keeper. Fifth goal of the season. And I tell you what, I don't care if he's only a three-star. He looks amazing. What a great ball. He tried to pick out the pass, and then he came up and stole away the clearance. That was huge. What a finish. What a finish. And that puts us up 1-0 on our first shot. It's 1-0 over Lil. Got to like that. And we're back. And the header goes over the bar for a goal kick. That's a cool name. Who was that? Uh, Joanon? 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 I actually looked at him and scouted him. Couldn't afford him. Oh, blistered through the wall. Third goal of the season for Bradbury. Yuskel really didn't have a shot at that one. I want to say that's more the wall's fault. 
Yeah, Fran should have jumped up. Instead, he just turned his back to it like he wasn't even bothered. We need to do better than that. All right, let's demand more. Uh, I don't... What? No, he slid around the front of him. That's no... Well, there's really nothing we can do there. All right, I think we're just going to drop them back. I'm going to make him a defender. I think that was a harsh penalty. He did go studs up, but I thought he got around the front of him and got all ball. I don't think he hit the player. Uh, let's go to balanced, and we will edge into the half equal at one. Probably lucky in that regard. Uh, I'm going to thrash my arms. No, we're not going to do that. Hands together. All right. Ooh, there we go. Man down. Just play with confidence. See what you can do. Little flick on header. And yeah, I think we're I think we're on the verge of just getting ripped open here. All right. Good block by Dopper. And oh my god, are they looking at a possible foul? Oh, this is ridiculous. First a harsh harsh uh, red card and now a harsh penalty review. No penalty. Good. Thank goodness. They've already screwed us on one call today. And now we've got an injury to Ibarra. All right, let's bring on Gazelle there. Oh, you know what? I do need to check something there. All right, yeah, they're both wingers. Oh, this is not good. And another set-piece goal from straight away. Goes around the wall. Hmm. Not sure what to do about that. Looks like Abdullah Gazelle was late getting to the wall, and again, they beat Fran on the left side of that wall. That's, uh, I'm going to demand more. I mean, we're, we're doing well. The loss here doesn't kill us, but you'd rather be performing a little bit better. All right, Nagano, we're going to bring Frank Gomez on. He's playing a little out of position. Pekaranen, ah, uh, just can't get anybody to get ahead on that, and they've got a counter opportunity. Quinonez out of position. He tried to dink the keeper at the at the top bin, and luckily it was just a touch high. Just a touch high. This is going to be a costly game, a red card and an injury. Wow. All right, Garcia. We'll bring on uh, Jimenez there. 24-year-old Spaniard, not the best player in that position. But all we got right now. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go back up to positive because we are losing. I guess we could play for goal differential and just absorb the loss, but I don't like doing that. I don't mind pulling back and being a little more cautious. Uh, Doffer gets beaten by Joanon. What a save by Yuskel. That is why we bought him this year right there. Doffer with the header out. A goal fest in between Wren and Strasburg. Martinez on the counter. Into the box. He tries to cross it. He draws the corner. No, nope, it went off of him. Darn it. We've played really well in this match. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way we've played. Uh, just to kind of hang in here. Uh, Yusko got a hand on that, but it trickled off. A little bit of jelly hands there. All right, now I'm not so happy. I would have been much happier with a 2-1 loss than a 3-1 loss. Well, not a lot I could do there. They doubled our shots, 10 on target. All right, uh, we're going to go hands on hips. Good. Oh, they were demotivated by that. I tried to be positive. So that tells me they've got high expectations for themselves. So we're down into fifth position here after seven matches. 
Still looking good, even with that the loss here and that big six-goal defeat. We're back to even footing on goals, so that's good. Two weeks for Abara, and Arudia is suspended for one match. We're going to fine him and then not appeal. Oh, boy. All right, let's come back for... Let's come back for the end of October, I think. We'll take on uh, Red Star with highlights, and then we'll play Breast uh, in the episode. That'll give us another run of games here, four more games to play off camera. So we'll do a catch up on those four matches and then the two matches uh, next episode. Guys, hit the like button, subscribe for daily football manager content, except for the week that I'm on vacation, which could be. The week after you see this, or maybe it was last week. I don't remember right now. All right, we'll talk to you guys. Bye.